What's up, YouTube? Tom from Seagull here. So Hulu recently released a documentary on the young climate activist Greta Thunberg, and I decided to sit down and give it a watch, and so I thought I'd take some time and just say a few words about my review of the documentary and five key takeaways I got from it. But first things first, if you're new here, let me first welcome you. This is Sir Seago. Here we talk all about animals and the environment and how we can save the world. So do the world a favor. Hit that subscribe button down below. So what did I think of the documentary? Well, first I thought it was good. I think I did learn a lot about Greta's life and her story and the way of other young climate activists that she inspired. The one thing I can critique about it is I think it could have done a better job highlighting all the statistics and facts about why climate change is real and how it's a threat. I feel like it wasn't really a documentary for people who you know don't believe in climate change. It wasn't really to convince them. It was more for people who already believe in climate change and believe it's an issue and think we need to step up and do more to stop it. The one thing I think could have maybe inspired um, climate deniers who might watch the film is seeing all the young people that are now, you know, going to the streets and protesting for, you know, climate justice. So what are five big takeaways I got from the film? Well, firstly, a big takeaway I got was how incredible Greta's story really is. It started out as her just being one person going on school strike because she didn't believe climate change was being focused on enough for an upcoming election. It started out as that from her talking to thousands of climate protesters to then going on to the United Nations Climate Action Summit. I think this does really go to show how small actions really can lead to something big, especially when we're tackling big issues. Another big takeaway I got was that Greta wasn't really raised to be concerned about the environment. So growing up, Greta's parents, you know, they didn't really try to conserve energy, they ate meat, you know, just climate change was really on their minds. And when Greta started, you know, turning lights out, unplugging things, trying to conserve electricity, you know, they were actually kind of confused and assured her that, in fact, there was enough being done for climate change and we didn't really need to do anything. And Greta talked about how this actually did scare her because people had this illusion that there was enough being done about the climate crisis. A third big takeaway I got from the film was just how brave Greta really is. So, in the midst of Greta's climate activism, there are people saying her death threats and tell her not to go outside. And, of course, her parents were really scared, but Greta insisted that the climate crisis was even scarier. Another big takeaway I got from the film was the, the sacrifices that Greta made and the example that she set. So when Greta did go to the United Nations Climate Action Summit, which was overseas for her, she didn't go by plane. No, she actually took a boat over to the United States because she didn't want to use the extra fossil fuels to use a plane. Greta talked about how it's important to preach one thing and actually act on it, not say one thing and then do another. It's really amazing to me how a teenager would rather go on a boat for a few days rather than go on a plane for a few hours simply to limit her fossil fuel consumption. And today you have full-grown adults who won't even take a few extra steps to make sure their trash goes in their cycle bin. And finally, the fifth big takeaway I got from the film was the movement that Greta Awaken. So Greta talked about several times in the film that adults who are in power aren't doing enough to combat the climate crisis. And the young people who will feel the biggest impacts of climate change need to demand that the world leaders take action until they do. That's basically just my quick review of the film. If you'd like to watch it, it's currently on Hulu. It's called I Am Greta. I think it's a great watch and it's really worth your time. That's basically it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to drop me a like this video. And also, share with a friend if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Peace.